You can turn on automatic backup in the Notability app on your iPad to automatically save every note that you create in Notability to a folder in your Google Drive. Backing up your Notability notes to Google Drive is very important so that none of your work is ever lost if your iPad were damaged and needed to be repaired, if you lost your iPad, or if you got a new iPad and you needed to move all of your old notes to that new iPad. To do this, go ahead and look over on the left side. If you haven't turned on automatic backup, you might see a pop-up letting you know that it's off and you can easily turn it on by tapping on turn on. If you don't see that pop up on the bottom left, you can also get to this menu by tapping on the gear icon in the bottom left corner of the screen. That will open this settings menu and from here you can tap on auto backup on the left side and then tap on Google Drive. Go ahead and tap on the continue button then tap on your Google Drive account. Go ahead and swipe down on the screen so that you can see the Allow button and tap on that to get your Google Drive connected to Notability. Now look at the bottom of the Settings menu. This lists where your Notability notes will back up. Right now, the place where your Notability notes will be backed up is shown here under Destination. So all of your notes will be backed up in Google Drive to a folder called Notability. You can change that folder if you want to by tapping here on Destination and creating or choosing a different folder in Google Drive. I'm going to leave that as the Notability folder because that makes a lot of sense and will make it easy for you later if you ever needed to find your backups to just look in the Notability folder in Google Drive. Next, look here under Subjects that you want to back up. Go ahead and tap on that and check off or tap on any of your subjects that you can see along the left side of your Notability app, all of these that subjects that you have created by tapping on the plus sign and adding these. If you don't want to back some of these up, just go ahead and tap on them so that they're not checked. Only the subjects that are checked will be the ones that get backed up to your Google Drive. You might want to go ahead and back up everything just to make sure that you don't lose anything. Once you've checked off your subjects, go ahead and tap on the back button. And next, look at the file format. This is the format of the notes that will be saved to your Google Drive folder. So go ahead and tap there. You have a lot of different choices of what you can back up. If you save your Notability notes as a note, it means that it's going to save your handwriting, anything that you type, all of your photos that you add, if you're adding any audio to your notes, all of that will be saved and you'll be able to edit it and change it all later if you needed to go back and find this note again and restore it to that new iPad or to your iPad if it ever got erased. You could also save your notes as a PDF. What this means is that if you've saved any audio, you won't be able to play that audio any longer and you won't be able to edit the note. It will just be a PDF that you can write on again, but you won't be able to do any editing. And if you did have audio, you won't be able to play that anymore. If you save your notes as a PDF and recording, it will save two files for each of your notes. The PDF with your handwriting, any images, any typing that you've done, and a separate file for your recordings. If you ever needed to restore this file to Notability, again, you won't be able to edit these files. you would be able to see them and write on that PDF or listen to the recording, but you wouldn't be able to edit or go back and change anything. I would recommend that you save your notes as the note format. 
This way, if you ever needed to go back and continue working on a note, erase things, change things, move things around, you will be able to do that. So I would recommend that you choose the note format for backing up your files. After you've made your choice of the format that you want to save your notes in, go ahead and tap on the back button and then you'll be able to see your choices here on the settings menu. Go ahead and tap on close. And now anytime that you add a new note or write in a note, change a note, you will see at the bottom left that it will say it's backing up your notes. And that means it's saving any changes that you're making, even changes to old notes. All of those changes are being backed up to that folder that you chose in your Google Drive folder so that none of your work will ever be lost.